More homes, more things to do, but at what cost? The city of Archdale, just south of High Point, is one step closer to the largest development in its history. The developer recently purchased more than 200 acres of land to put more than 500 homes on. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Neil McNeil. Fox 8's Alia Sims has been looking into this today. She joins us live from the intersection of Trindale and English Farm Roads, where this development's, development's proposed to be built. Now, Leah, I know there's a need for housing in this area, especially with the new Toyota plant being built not too far away at the mega site, but I'm wondering how people are feeling about this particular new project. Well, Neil, they say Archdale is a growing city. And while they're happy with some of the amenities that the development will bring, like a dog park, a pool, and a playground, they say building more than 500 homes here in an area with only two lanes to handle all the traffic, it'll bring more congestion here. And it's something they don't want to see in their small community. It's not unusual to hear the whiz of cars passing on Trendale and English Farm Roads in Archdale. Traffic is. When it's, when it's bad, it's bad. That 5 o'clock traffic around here, there's, there's nothing like it. Desco Investment Company got this area of land east of the YMCA on Trendale Road rezoned last year. Now, they have purchased the more than 200-acre site to transform it into more than 400 single-family homes and about 100 townhome lots. Something that large scale, it's, it's, it's pretty wild in an area like this. While Christopher Helmstetler likes the idea of the village type concept in the development, bringing a pool, a dog park, playground, and walking trails that will help complement the YMCA he uses almost every day. He would like to see a smaller scale housing development project. This area doesn't get that much new stuff, you know, we don't get a lot of things like all, a lot of nicer things get tossed into, into High Point. Around um, around HPU, and they're you know trying to make it a college town. So um, it is nice to hear that you know something like that is. We are getting something new around here, but you know that larger scale, you know I just don't know what that's going to do. Be a lot of traffic involved. Clinton Letford travels Trendale Road at least three times a week and worries about how the development will impact the flow of traffic. It's going to make it real congested. And we only have a two-lane road out there. I think they're going to need a four-lane road on 62 if they do that. While the development will take years to complete, they say only time will tell how it could transform the city. It could be good. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, I did reach out to the mayor who told me he wasn't ready to make a formal announcement just yet on that development. Meanwhile, I've called, emailed the planning director, the city's economic development director, and Desco Investment Company, the development, the developer of this project, rather, and I have not heard back to see when ground could break. Live here in Archdale, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News.